This is DBTV. I'm here with Jean Hervé Chiquet, uh, co owner of Jacasson uh, here in Dizzy in Champagne. And uh, Jean Hervé, you picked your last grapes yesterday. Um, how has the harvest gone? The harvest has been a bit complicated because, first, it began much earlier than usual. Uh, we began 23rd of August. And then, because of our uh, quality concerns, we decided to stop twice uh, to pick the grapes in the best conditions. So it has been a bit, uh, a bit hectic. But at the end, I think we will have some significant differences in quality between the grapes. Uh, Pinot Meunier have been difficult. Uh, Pinot Noir, some have been difficult, some are, are very good. Chardonnay are apparently privileged. Of course, this will, be, this will have to be confirmed when we taste uh, the wines a bit sure. later. And you've compared it to 2007? Yes, yes, definitely. First, because of the weather pattern, which was very similar. Uh, in 2007 and 2011, we got a very warm and uh, dry spring, followed by a very wet and cold summer, and which finishes for by a very early harvest. We, we harvested in the 29th of August in 07, 2030 this year. Okay. Um, you said um, earlier that you don't care about volumes and you're making less and less each year. And um, how does that affect uh, the economics? Uh, I, I correctly, slightly. I, <laughs> I, we are not making less and less each year. We are simply making a bit less today than we used to make four or five years ago. But of course, uh, we, 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 we make a volume which is around 300,000 bottles, which uh, it is around the, the number around which the house is more or less formatted. And do you consider yourself a grower champagne? Technically, no, because technically we still buy fruits. Practically, yes, definitely, okay. because we buy fruits only from our neighbors in the villages where we farm ourselves. We farm three quarters of our needs, and all the grapes we buy uh, are delivered in fruits on our own presses. Okay, and what styles are you finding are selling well at the moment of your champagnes? What, excuse what, me? What styles? So Blanc de Blanc, Rosé, Vintage? Uh, the problem is that at Jackson we have a range which is not very conventional because we produce only one blend which can be called a non-vintage but which is a very different concept because it is identified different every year and numbered and followed by four different single vineyards. Okay, sure. And um, have you seen interest from emerging markets like China, Russia, Brazil? Uh, Russia definitely, yes. Uh, Brazil and China, yes, certainly. Not for us to the same extent. Uh, we, we will see. Sure. And finally, um, there isn't much land left in Champagne that can be planted on. Um, are you pro the expansion of the Champagne region? At one condition, is that the average quality of what we will plant is at least as good as the average quality of the existing Champagne. Do you think that would happen? Uh, joker. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. I have no idea. We are not personally concerned by this. Uh, I, I expect people to be reasonable and to understand that uh, at the end, if people are buying champagne, it's simply because globally it remains the best sparkling wine in the world. This is our main treasure. So if we expand the region too much without caring about what we are, where we are planting, we are at risk. Okay. I hope people to be reasonable. Jean Neve, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>